Hello there, welcome to this video. This is a Lover Sage video, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add, remove, edit, view users on Sage. It doesn't matter if you have Sage 50 Cloud, Sage 50 accounts, Sage Instant accounts, it doesn't matter which version or copy of Sage you have, the process is going to be exactly the same. So I have my Sage in front of me. We just go to the top ribbon here and click on settings. Scroll down to user management and then click on users. So settings, user management, users. The users box will appear and you should have a list of all the current users that have access to your copy of Sage. There's just one in my list, which is manager. That's me because I'm the only person who has access to these accounts, but you may have a list. You may have just one. If you want to remove a user, you just simply click and highlight the user that you wish to remove. You go down to the bottom left here and click on delete. It will then remove that user from the system. If you want to edit a user's access, you simply just click on a user which will highlight them and click on edit you can then edit that user such as editing what they have access to you can restrict what users view what they have access to with their user login details on sage i'm going to show you how to add a new user though i'll do that in a moment but let's just have a look at this list so in this list i know there's only one showing but we have the username the user type, these types will make more sense in a moment, their level of access, and the last time they logged in. So it can be handy also just to review your users by coming in here and looking at these columns and the data showing in these columns. But let's add a new user. So I click on new. The first thing I'm asked is to select a user type. There are three types. There are standard. So this is for most users that you're going to add to Sage are going to be standard. Administrator is the person that has access to absolutely everything and can add other users to the software. Generally, there's only one or two administrators. Everyone else will have the standard access. If you want to add your accountant or bookkeeper, there's also an option in the center here to add a bookkeeper or accountant. But let's add a standard user and click continue. We're asked to create a username, so perhaps we're going to add the bookkeeper master. A feature that I do like about Sage is you don't have to have a password. You can simply just give them a username and they can gain access through a username. Not the most secure, but that is an option. If you want to add a password, simply leave this unticked and enter the details. If you want them to create their own password, then you can tick this box. They will need the password you set for the first time they log in. Going forward, they will have their own password. Okay, so let's say password not required and click continue. We then select the level of access. So if you want them to have access to everything, just click select all. They will then have access to everything on Sage, but it can be very handy to restrict people's access just so they can't access the more sensitive areas of Sage or perhaps access areas that they don't know. Um, you don't want someone logging in and perhaps messing with sound orders when they have nothing to do with sound orders. You don't want people perhaps stepping on each other's feet when they're using Sage. So if you have, say, a credit controller, you can click on customers perhaps um, and perhaps bank accounts and then they'll have access to the customers and the bank account. You can see things um, in even more detail. If you click on these little arrows, you, know, you could give someone access to everything in the customers apart from price lists and refunds for whatever reason. So it's very specific. You can get very detailed in what you give access or users access to. Once you've selected what you want, click continue. 
If you want to give someone remote access to your Sage, you can click remote access. You would then click continue and you'd have a confirmation that you're going to add this user. I'm not going to do that. As mentioned already, once the user has been added, they'll appear in this list. If you ever want to edit their level access, you just click on them, click edit. If you want to get rid of the user, you can click on them and click delete. But that's how you view the users on Sage. That's how you delete users on Sage, edit users, and uh, add users as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I have loads of free videos on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. There's loads of Sage. You can learn so much about Sage by just clicking on here. There's lots of Sage courses, lots of Sage videos. You can learn everything about Sage all for free. You can also learn stuff about QuickBooks and cash flow and zero and learn bookkeeping, accounting, credit control. It's all on there for free. Go check it out. Freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll speak to you in another video.